In this video, we're going to go over how to view shift occupancy analysis effectively. You'll remember in the last video we discussed how to choose a dataset to analyze. If you haven't watched that or need a refresher, click on this link. These analytics are interactive, meaning you can click on the graphs to reveal more detail about your shift occupancy. So if we think of the analysis as layers of data, then we can start to view the results more effectively. Walk-ins are represented in blue, while reservations are represented in purple. The top layer of the analysis is the week view, seven full days of performance with historical data represented with dashed lines. Past days have finalized walk-in and reservation counts, and future days are reserved covers. For each view, there is also an overview card, seen here. In the week view, this shows the entire count for that day, while the summary section in week view shows the entire count for all days in view. The next layer is the day view. The overview card shows the total counts for the highlighted shift, while the summary section shows the whole day. Although keep in mind some reservations or covers could have been seated outside of your shift definitions, so sometimes the overview card and the summary section may not line up exactly. The last layer is the shift view. The overview card is now focused on pacing, so it'll give you the total occupancy at an exact 15 minute point during the shift. The summary section shows the entire count for the span of the shift. By default, the analytics have the comparative historical data overlay on for each of the three layers. If you're comparing your data to the last four weeks of business, the dashed lines make it easy to visualize where you could potentially attract more business, or where you have attracted more business in the past. This can be useful when determining how to make any modifications to your shifts in the future. By analyzing the peaks and valleys of your shift occupancy, you'll get a more detailed understanding of where you could potentially modify your availability settings to attract more diners, so you're achieving peak occupancy more consistently. In the next video, we'll go over how to use the shift occupancy data with other guest center reports.